Hello, all the students of class 6, you all are welcome again to My Minching Online School. I am Mohamad Rajal Karim, assistant teacher, My Minching Jila School. I am here to help you. Today, I will continue my previous class. On my previous class, I taught you transformation. And on that day, we completed only affirmative into negative. Today, I'll try to teach you assertive into interrogative. Along with, I'll teach you some more information. Today, I'll teach you what is assertive sentence. Though I described this on my previous class, but today I also say something about assertive sentence. I'll teach you interrogative sentence and I'll teach you question. I'll teach you open-ended question. I'll teach you close-ended question. I'll teach you how to form a question and after at, far, at last I'll teach you the roles how can we change an assertive into interrogative sentence okay clear okay as I completed the roles of assertive into affirmative into negative that is why I want to give two example just you write or you change these two sentence into effort into negative and send the answer through comment box as soon as possible the two question is well, the two questions are Man must die. Make it into negative. And another one that is happens only in winter there are two questions just you change these two questions these two affirmative sentence into negative and after that you send the answer through my comment box here is a mobile today i'll see the comments of you that is why i have taken another phone okay Now, we should go to our point, write down it on your khata and send the answer. Okay, I can erase this. I think you already, you have already written this. Okay, today our topic is SRT. into interrogative clear today I will discuss about assertive into interrogative but I said 
I'll teach you some more. That is, what is assertive sentence? What is interrogative sentence? What is question? What is open-ended question? What is closed-ended question? Etc. And how can we form question? Etc. Okay, at first, assertive sentence. What is assertive sentence? The assertive sentence is that sentence by which we can describe something. We use such type of sentence to describe something. There are two types of assertive sentence. One is affirmative and another is negative. I think you already have cleared about assertive sentence. What is assertive sentence? Just if we want to describe something, then we will use assertive sentence. Okay? Okay. Now, we are going to interrogative sentence. What is interrogative sentence? Interrogative sentence is that sentence which is used by us to ask something to someone. That means when we ask something to someone, then we use such type of sentence. That means interrogative sentence. Clear? In interrogative sentence is also a questioning sentence. And you have to remember that interrogative question after, at the end of an interrogative question, you have to use a punctuation that is sign of interrogation. That is sign of interrogation. What is the name of this sign? The name of this sign is sign of interrogation. Clear? You must use it. Otherwise, you will get zero. If you change a sentence into assertive to interrogative, but you don't use this sentence, this punctuation, you will get zero. Okay, clear? Okay. Now, I think you have already understood what is assertive sentence and what is interrogative sentence. Clear? Okay. Now, we are going to question. What is question? What is question? Question is that things by which we can ask something or someone. The, these are these about same. So I think you have already known what is question. Question means when we ask something or to someone then we the sentence which we use this is called question. Okay? Clear? Yeah. Now we are going to question. There are two parts of question. One is two types of question. One is open-ended and another is closed-ended. One is closed-ended, another is open-ended. Okay, what is closed-ended? Close-ended. Close-ended question. And open-ended question. Clear? Close-ended question and open-ended question. Okay. Nibir answered that. I will describe your answer later. But I just want to finish it. And... What is the conflict between your answer and my speech? You will distinguish later. Okay, and another one. Nafsi Jahangir, what will I do now? But why do you ans why do you ask such type of question? I don't clear it. Okay. Question means close-ended question and open-ended question. What is close? If I make a circle and I use here all these 
things in this circle is closed that means if i write a word book this book is closed by a circle okay that means close in that question is that in the that question or close in that question is a type of question that can be answered by using yes or no that means yes or no the answer answer will be yes or no that time the question will be closed in that question i think you have cleared that means of close in that question is that question or is a question that can be answered yes or no okay if i give an example what will be do you know me you will answer yes or no yes you are result sir or yes or no that means it is a close in that question i don't write this because you know that do you know me it is a close in that question because the answer we can answer this question by using yes or no okay now close in that question close in that question is that question which cannot be answered by using yes or no you have to use another word if i say what is your name if i ask what is your name then you will say my name is something if i if you ask me then i will say my name is rajaul i think you all have understood what is closed in that question and what is open in that question okay now we are going to another topic that is how can we form a open in that question and a closed in that question we can form a closed in that question by one way and we can form open in that question by two way okay now i am giving you the description okay close in that question i can close it here i'll write close in that question close in that question and that question you already know what is close in that question now i'm telling you how can we form close in that question just to form a close in that question we need an auxiliary verb at first that means at first use an auxiliary verb at first we have to use an auxiliary verb then we have to use the subject then we have to use a subject then we have to use a verb then we have to use a verb and after that we may use extension and we have to use this sign sign of interrogation that means how can we form an close in that question we can form an close in that question by using first auxiliary verb then subject then verb and extension what will be the example do it is an auxiliary verb subject you verb no extends me or something else do you know me it is a close in the question the answer will be yes no i think you all have understood what is close in the question now we are going to open in the question now we are going to another topic that is open ended question open ended question what is the definition of open ended question open ended question is a question that can not be answered by yes or no it is open for all the may come in various way okay now open and how can we form an open ended question we can form an open ended question by using wh word or we use a word from a wh family 
do you know what is W family or W H family? Okay. Now we have to use the W H word. At first, I have to use W H word, and that we have to use an auxiliary verb. We have to use an auxiliary verb. Then we have to use subject. Then we have to use verb. Then we have to use extension. I think you all have understood here. W H word, auxiliary verb, subject, verb, and extension. Clear? Okay. What will be the example? What auxiliary verb maybe is subject your? Auxiliary verb is do. Subject is you. Verb is want. That means it is a close open ended. Open ended question. That means what do you want? The answer will be something. It varies from person to person. Understand? And we can form open ended question in another way when the subject will not be present here, such as who loves you. Here the subject is not present. There, the question is about subject. The speaker wanted once here, who is the subject? That is why when the speaker wants to know the subject, then we have to use such type of question. That means we can form such type of question using at first W is word and then verb and then object or extension. Okay? And on the other hand, number one from W is word, auxiliary verb, subject, verb, extension. These are two ways to form open-ended question. And you can make thousands question. You I think you have already cleared Okay, now we are going to topic that is assertive to interrogative. Clear? Just keep with me. Just assertive to interrogative. If we want to change an assertive sentence into interrogative sentence, then we have to know a few rules. Just I will explain all this rule according to my way. It may be elaborated, but you will know something. You will know the unknown. Okay, just keep your eyes on my machine online school and know the known. Okay. Now, at first rule, what will be the first rule? First rule is that assertive to interrogative. Assertive sentence, there are two types of assertive sentence. One is affirmative and another is negative. So, in question, we may find an affirmative sentence and a negative sentence. So, that is assertive sentence. When we will find an assertive sentence
Okay, now we are going to assertive to interrogative sentence. A first rule that is when we find an assertive sentence in affirmative, then we have to change it into negative. That means the answer will be we are. reading a story we are reading a story it is an assertive sentence and it is in affirmative we have to change it into neg interrogative and if I, I already said you if I find an assertive sentence in affirmative then we have to we have to change it into interrogative negative. Interrogative negative means interrogative plus negative. That means here we have to use a word that is no or negative word. That is why we, the answer will be are. Are. Then we have to use not. Are not. You may write aren't. Any anyone you can use are not or aren't plus we plus reading a story. Okay, we have to use this symbol, otherwise, you will get zero. So that is why what will be the answer of this rule is that if we find an sentence in affirmation in affirm to change it into negative. I think you all have understood. Number two rules. If you find an assertive sentence in negative, then you have to change it into where interrogative. You have to change it into where interrogative. That means we are not reading story that means it is a assertive sentence but it is in negative form assertive sentence in negative that is why you have to change it into bear, inter bear interrogative that means the answer will be are we reading story Here you have to the answer incorrect. Okay, are you clear? Okay, now we are going to another rules. That is, if we find if we find an assertive sentence, but there will be no auxiliary verb, what will we do? Then we have to use don't, doesn't, or didn't. Just according to subject and tense. The, we play football. We play football. There, in this sentence, there is no auxiliary verb. But we have to use an auxiliary verb to form an interrogative sentence. That is why in such type of sentence, you have to use don't or didn't or doesn't. Okay? Just according to subject or tense. Clear? Now, what can we use here? It is in present tense. Present indefinite tense. That is why we have to use don't or doesn't. But subject is plural. 
that is why we have to use don't okay clear the answer will be don't we play football clear yes number 3 rule we already finished now we are going to number 4 Number four, if we find never in an assertive sentence, what will be? At that time, this never, never will be changed into ever. Never is a negative form, never will be changed it into ever. That is why the example will be, I never Do this. I never do this. That is why if I change it into interrogative, then we have to use an auxiliary verb. I. And it is in present tense. That is why I, I use do. Do. Is there any necessary to use not? No. Because there is a never. There is a word, a negative word. That is never. That is why we don't use here not. Do I. Never will be replaced by ever, ever, ever. Never will be replaced by ever. Do I ever do this? You have to use this symbol. Okay, clear? We have completed four rows. Now we are going to number five. Number five, you may find a assertive sentence which may start with everyone, anyone, everybody, anybody and all. That means every or any plus body or one or all. You may start, you may use or you may find an assertive sentence that may start with everybody, everyone, anybody, anyone or all. At that time, you will change this everybody or everyone or anybody or anyone or using who doesn't or didn't and plus extension Barber present form Barber present form plus okay clear if I give an example the what will be Everybody helps you. What will be the answer? Everybody helps you. What will be the answer? The answer will be who you may use doesn't or didn't just according to tense. That is why everybody helps. It is in present tense. That is why we will use who doesn't barber present form that means we have to erase this s and you have to use here this symbol i think you all have understood this number that means everybody everyone Anybody, anyone, all. If you find such word at the beginning of any sentence or any assertive sentence, then you have to change it into interrogative or you have to replace this word by who doesn't or didn't, just according to tense. I think you all have understood. Okay, now we are going to another rule. That is If 
we find or any plus not body or on if we find any particular noun particular noun that means father mother worker teacher etc at that time what will be the answer at that time we have to use or you have to replace every or any by is there any plus plus who plus don't or doesn't not necessarily don't doesn't didn't plus verb in present form plus extension and you have to use this symbol that means we read that every plus every or any plus body or noun if we find such type of sentence then we will use who doesn't or who didn't but if we find every or any plus noun then what will be the answer you have to you change this every or any by is there any at that time after that we have to use that noun and after that we have to use who and after that we will use doesn't or didn't according to tense and after that we have to use bar, present form of verb and that we will use the extension what will be the example the example will be every teacher loves his students every teacher loves his students what will be the answer the answer will be is there any teacher who doesn't love his students clear and after that you have to use the symbol sign of interrogation i think you have understood this rule also okay now we are going to another topic that is if we find nobody no one no person or none then what will be no body one person or none then we have to replace this word by who just this word will be replaced who and the other word will re nobody or none helps you none helps you that means what will be the answer the, this will be replaced by who who helps you clear i think you all have understood this rule also okay number 7 number 7 is you may find there is no a sentence starts with there is no an assertive sentence may starts with there is no after that you will find noun or something is an extension at that time when we find there is no what will happen then the un the answer will be or this will be replaced by is there any this will be replaced by this is there any or what if the noun is think
if the noun is things that time you have to choose what if the noun is person then you have to use who that means it is very important rule if you find an assertive sentence which starts with there is no then you have to use all these three steps that means you may use is there any plus noun you may use what when the noun will be things and you may use who when the noun will be person if i give you an example what will be there is no use of this law there is no use of this law that means this law not person you can answer this sentence by you can say is there any use of this law or otherwise you may you may use what is the the use of this law and you have to use such type of punctuation i teach you this rule because you have to change an interrogative sentence into assertive sentence that is why if you find sentence and the um, the you find that uh, you have to change this sentence into assertive sentence then you have to understood what is the sentence is that is why i teach this rule okay clear i think you have understood that means there is no if you find there is no then you have to use is there any or what when the subject will be things and who when the subject will be person clear now we are going to another rule that is you may find an assertive sentence that may starts with it doesn't matter what is the meaning of it does not matter it doesn't matter means so what so what so when you find this type of phrase or this type of sentence then you have to replace it by what do you have to replace it by what do or or does it matter understand now we are going to give you an example that is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if we fail okay clear suppose it is an example when the what will be the answer the answer will be it doesn't matter means what though or does it matter the answer will be what though so what what though if we fail sign of interrogation clear i think you all have understood all the rules and all the topic what i discussed i think that means today we have completed assertive sentence interrogative sentence question open ended question how can we form question it is very important to speak because when you will speak with someone then you have to ask different type of question and that is why i form i teach you the formation how can we form question 
and by applying all this form you can make thousands question okay and after that we have I, I have taught you assertive into interrogative and I think you all have understood all the speech what I taught all the okay I do not want to continue this class because I have already finished 45 minutes that is why please the student at home and read all the topics what I taught you and what you gain from managing online school and I want to add another word that is you have asked or you have answered on the comment box I will replay all the comments now after finishing this class so I do not want to continue more wait for my another class and I'll meet you again till that Allah Hafiz bye